Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you absolutely brilliant chess game. This is the game between Boris Gelfand and Vishwatananand that was played in EMBA Blindfold Tournament in Nice in 2008. Where is Nice? Nice is a city in France. In this game, Boris Gelfand had white pieces and he started with d4. Anand played d5, c4, c6, knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and if pawn takes pawn, we would have Slav defense. Anand played e6, and we have semi Slav defense. e3, knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes on c4, b5 gaining space on the queen side, bishop to d3, bishop to b7, a3 preventing b4 pawn push, bishop to d6, both players castled, queen to c2, queen and bishop are aiming at pawn on h7, a6. Black is getting ready to push pawn to c5. Gelfand stopped that with b4. a5. Rook to b1. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Queen to e7. Queen and bishop are aiming at pawn on b4. And Gelfand is not defending pawn. He played e4 with the idea to push pawn to e5 to fork knight and bishop. e5. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on e5. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes. Knight to e2. Queen to e6. Queen is going to support a landing of rook on a2. f4 attacking bishop. Rook to a2 attacking queen, queen to d1, and we have reached a very interesting position. It is black to move. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Please note, this is not a killer move, but it is very, very good move. With Fantastic, surprising value. What is the move? Standard move in this position is bishop to c7, and then white would play knight to c3, and rook must go back, perhaps to a7. But Anand played bishop to a1. That was a big surprise. Uh, Druma had it that uh, in his home preparations he had a mouse slip and then accidentally he found that this is a good move. I think he was just joking. This is a very strong move and it's very surprising. Okay, so e5 was played. Uh, just going back. Knight to c3 is not possible now. Okay, so in the game, Gelfand played e5, attacking knight, and now another surprise. You would think that knight must move, but c5 was played. Hmm, looks like because it's a blindfold tournament, you think maybe Grandmaster didn't see that he's going to lose his knight. Okay, so Gelfand captured knight, and now Bishop to d4 check. If bishop was on c7, this check would not be possible. Okay, now if knight takes, then rook takes on g2 check, and after king to h1, queen to h3, and there is checkmate on h2 coming soon. So Gelfand played rook to f2, and Anand captured, king takes, and now queen to d5. Not the most accurate, 
let's go back. The most accurate is queen to c6. In this position, queen to d5 was played, and Gelfand played bishop to b2. Let's go back. Move bishop takes on h7 is uh, better, but white would be still worse off. Let's check this variation. King takes on h7, queen takes queen, bishop takes on d5, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and after rook to b2, rook from f to a8. Black is still better, but white is still alive. Move in the game was worse. In the game, bishop to b2 was played. And now, an uncaptured on g2, this is check. King to e1, c4, attacking bishop, bishop to c2, and have a good look at the white's position. All white's pieces are on one part of the board, defending each other and facing death. Okay, bishop to f3 was played. Pawn takes pawn, attacking rook, but rook was happy to come to e8. Now knight is pinned uh, with relative pin and absolute pin. Bishop to e5, f6. In this position, Gelfand could have resigned, but he continued. He captured pawn on h7. This is check. King takes, takes uh, pawn was promoted to queen. An uncaptured king, and in this position, white resigned. For those that wish to see checkmate, uh, I will show this variation. Queen to d2, rook takes, king takes, and then check. And king is pushed in the corner and checkmated. But a very interesting part of the game was that at move 20, when bishop was played to a1, and because of its surprising value, this is a winning move. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.